What's good, gang? It's your boy Two Time Moto TV, and I'm back with another video, guys. Today I got my homies 2013 Dodge Charger RT57 here. And we're gonna show you how to change the oil on it. So, first off, guys, y'all are gonna want to make sure that the car is secure. So, we are on ramps. Also, we have two jack stands and a jack supporting because I'm about to get up underneath the vehicle safety first. So, let's go ahead and get started. So once you got your car in the air and you're up underneath it, you're going to set a catch pan up underneath it to catch all of the oil and use a 13 to uh, put in the back of your uh, oil pan and you're just going to want a lefty loosey. So make sure that either your ratchet or your wrench is a uh, lefty loosey. So let's go ahead and crack this nut off. And once you got it cracked, you can take your wrench or your ratchet off. Watch your hands because this oil will just start pouring out. So even my fingers being that low, let me prop them up a little bit. You can push the plug in to where you feel it being loose like that. So you just seen some drops of oil. Once you crack it, just let it off. Now your hands are still clean, so you can still wear your proper PPE with gloves and whatnot, but let everything drain out from the bottom. And once you got the bolt off at the bottom, letting it drain, you're going to want to open your cap up so it depressurizes the system and you can get all of the oil out. It'll drain a lot better. So cap is off. All right, guys, so that we got the bolt taken out and the cap uh taking off at the top what you're gonna want to do is find your filter which is on the passenger side and is on the passenger side of the uh oil pan so sometimes you can just reach your hand up here and twist it off which i think i put this one on last time so yep <sighs> i'm able to twist it off and you're just going to move your canister that you have to catch the oil up underneath it because as you can see she's already pouring out a little bit and so you'll know where to catch the oil at and then you do want to wear some gloves with this because as soon as this come down or even matter of fact right now you can see it's just getting all over the place drop the filter put it in your canister wipe your hands off and I'll show you guys the next step next thing you gonna want to do is return your bolt to its original slot. Once you get it hand tightened, you're gonna wanna take a wrench and just put a little bit of pressure behind it. You don't want it to be too tight the way you strip the uh, bolt out. So just hand tighten is fine. It'll seal it up, guys, don't worry. Then you're gonna wanna replace the filter. So before you put the filter on, you're gonna wanna pour oil in it and then you're gonna wanna put uh, oil around the rings uh, just so it don't dry rot because you are making contact with the car with the ring so you just want to put a little oil around it just so it don't dry rot. Alright and so the charger takes seven quarts of oil of your choice. We're going to be running mobile one in the car. So got our little makeshift funnel. You guys can use a real funnel if you want to. Make sure that you pour about six and a half quarts in there. Check your dipstick and then pour the rest. So we'll go ahead and get started on that. All right, all seven quarts in. So we're gonna put the cap back on. Start the car. Before you check the levels of the oil, you wanna back the car off in the ramps. Alright, so with this big bad boy RT on the ground, you're gonna wanna check the dipstick, but first thing you're just gonna wipe it off. The car on level ground. You wanna put the dipstick back in all the way down. Let it sit for about five seconds. Check it. See where the levels are. It's not above the uh, ad mark. So we're good. That's how you change the oil 
and a Dodge Charger 5.7 RT.